Hello, welcome back to the Crafty Nook. Today I have yet another haul, which I'm sure some of you are probably really tired of. I don't know. Um, we shall see um, how this video does. But, so, this is from a couple of different places. Um, I ordered some stuff from Joann's and then, um, it came in. I also have a scrapbook.com order that'll be here Saturday, which I will haul on Saturday. I was not going to do a haul video for this because I have already opened some of it and put it away. Um, but then I realized that, I forgot what I was going to say. I lost my train of thought. So, most of this is from Tuesday morning. Let's start there. Most of this is from Tuesday morning. And based on what I've seen on on YouTube and in my store, it looks like Tuesday morning is really upping their game again. I know I just did a haul a week or two ago of just a few things that I picked up at Tuesday morning. Um, but I went in yesterday and their craft section was amazing. So they're really, they really are beefing it back up. So I picked up these scissors and honestly, I pulled them out of the package because I needed, I wanted to use them. My original intention was to pop into Tuesday morning just to see what they had. And then I was going to go over to Hobby Lobby because my Tuesday morning and Hobby Lobby are next door to each other. And I was going to pick up some non-stick scissors because my current scissors, I want to say I got them from Target maybe. But they've got gunk all over them, and they're sticky, and it's just time to replace them. And so I found these Art Skills Non-Stick Scissors Titanium Coated Blades. They're only $4.99. I know for a fact that the Tim Holtz ones that they have, or at least I think they have at Hobby Lobby, if they're not already all sold out, are way more than $4.99. So I picked these up. I haven't used them yet. I was going to. Oh, look at that. These are going to be great for fussy cutting. Oh, see, those are nice. I don't even know if these scissors would do that. Let's see. Yeah. But those are sticky and these are not. So we'll see how long these last and how well they do for $4.99. Uh, you can't really beat it. So I had already opened those and put those away. And threw the package in the trash, so I pulled it back out. Then they had a couple of stamps. So, uh, these are from Hip Stamp Hooray. I don't know. It's an American Crafts. I don't, I've never heard of them before. But, I have several travel-themed albums that I'm wanting to start working on um, soon. And so, I picked this one up. It is just a giant map. Like, world map. Um... I don't think this stuff is even in English. It's not. But that's okay because this would make a great like journal or traveler's notebook background or like I could even make a great project life card with this. I think it's going to do exactly what I want it to do. And it was only 2.99. That's this one world map stamp set. Um and I'm going to put it in my stamp storage. And uh, then I got this Bloom Builder stamp set from the same brand, and that's this one here. I think we might try this one out on video today and see how it does. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that this isn't very sticky, but that's okay. They, I, I store mine together in the binders anyway. Then, um, like I said, I have a few um, travel theme things that I'm really wanting to start getting done. Um, we had a trip, a road trip that we took to the Grand Canyon, and then we just went to Las Vegas. We took that trip, the Grand Canyon trip in 2018, and I started on it while we were gone in a smash book and, um, made like six pages before we ever even made it out of Texas. <laughs> and, uh, um, was not, I'm just not loving the way that it's turning out. And so I think I'm going to start over in a 9x12 album as soon as I find one that I love. Um, so that's what I picked this up. This is a Jolie's Boutique 
um, journal card set. And so it's a 3D journaling card set for road trip. And so it was these two cards, which are very cute and they are 3D. They're pretty dimensional. And then this one that says road trip with uh, a journaling card that has texture on it, textured clouds. So I picked up some Jolie's Boutique at the last, the last time I was there um, for my daughter's um, high school memory scrapbook. And so I do think these are gonna be very cute. Then they had a bunch of like Echo Park and Cartabella Ephemera for fall and Christmas and Halloween. Um, but I am, you know, overrun with Christmas things right now. I don't have a lot of fall stuff, but I also don't scrap a lot of fall stuff. So that's okay. Um, and then they had like a bunch of pebbles and a couple of other ephemera packs that um, I thought were very cute, but I have something similar or the exact same thing in my stash already. Like they had an, several other Dear Lizzie ones, which I just picked up last time. And I didn't think I needed more, but I did pick this one up. This is the Happy Cake Day Ephemera. I have some of the Hooray collection, I think it's called. Pardon my cat. She's tearing things up. I think it's called Hooray. Yeah, I have um, the 6x8 paper pad for Hooray. And I think this will coordinate pretty well. Let me see. It's not an exact match, but it's got some animals and then just like general colors, which I think I got this at Tuesday morning. Yeah, I got this way before the pandemic, I think. And so I do think that this color and vibe is very similar to the, this pebbles so let me pull this is a pretty pretty much all of what's in this collection so let's look like all the colors and the vibe the turtle is my favorite if you were wondering so let's see i got to check the time because i got to pick my daughter up from school soon so that matches the foiling on the Hooray collection is iridescent, but not all the papers have iridescent foil. So, and then this cat with glasses, I mean, that's totally the vibe. An otter. <laughs> Why is there so cute? Then some doo -doo -doos. Um, I don't know what they're really called, but we call them doo -doo This is exactly why I bought it. A ta taco and guac. Um, for those who don't know, my wife is Hispanic and... Um, we eat a lot of tacos and guac. That's really cute. A dinosaur. There's an alligator in this one. A present. A llama. Another type of llama. See, I just, I feel like this isn't like exactly the same, but it's a very close match. Birthday candles, a sloth. Uh, this is also why I picked it up. I have um, a birthday wish well, I don't know if it's a birthday wish. I want to be a hedgy mom. I want a hedgehog. But we have too many animals already. So I love these little people. That is just makes me happy. A present. Some balloons. I think this is supposed to come apart. But I'm not certain. And then so some tags. So that's the bigger pieces. Which they are a little bit giant. But that's okay. Birthdays are special. So there's the big pieces and then these little pieces. I tried to peel some of these uh, things off so I could look at them better. Another dinosaur. She's blowing out a birthday cake. He's happy. Look, there's a weenie dog in there too. He's cute. They can be friends. A happy balloon, a bird, oh, a little crown. Uh, is that Rambo Sherbert? <laughs> it's cute. Rambo, some pizza. You can, there's two of those together. You can peel those apart. This looks a little bit like my son if he was blonde. And his birthday is in August and I'm up to August in my scrapping. 
So yeah, this I just thought would be very versatile and could match some of the papers and stuff that I already have. Even though I don't have this Happy Cake Day collection. Although I would not shy away from it if I saw it at Tuesday morning. Also, I would like to note that pre-pandemic, I wonder if I have any up there. So let's see, pre-pandemic, I wanna say these stickers had gone up or right in the height of the pandemic. Some of this stuff had gone up. Let me see. Or maybe I'm crazy. So I think I bought this at Tuesday morning. Or maybe I didn't. Okay, this is for sure from Tuesday. Oh, I lied. They have gone up a little. I picked this up before the pandemic. I don't see what year it is. I didn't realize I had this. Did I pick this up before the pandemic? No, I think I just picked that up. I'm crazy. Get it together, Michelle. I've been at work today. I know for, oh, that's not even in the package. Um, I just worked a 12 hour. Okay, so they haven't gone up that much. 249. Just worked a all day in the clinical setting. And I'm tired. It's okay. The whole point is, is that they're not super expensive. I don't think I already had that. There's no way. I think I just bought this. That is good to know though. I'm gonna set that where I can find it and look at it later because I'm totally getting off track. <laughs> What does Adele from Inky Quill call them? Tangents? I'm on a tangent. I try to hide my... Oh. I try to hide my ADD while I'm filming videos, but it's there. It's there. Big time there. Okay, so let's finish up with Tuesday morning. Um, but to do that, I have to say... Let me... I'm going to not finish up with Tuesday morning. I'm going to go to scrapbook.com. Not scrapbook.com. Joanne's. I'm, I'm sorry try that again. So I watched Scrappy Nerd UK did an unboxing of some stuff she had gotten from Joann's and in it was this round trip project pad and I was I, I'm in love with round trip you know we just went to Las Vegas and so I flew for the first time since I was a child um, and I have not flown since 9-11. I think I was in the fourth grade when I flew the last time and the only other time before we went to Vegas. And so I have been in love with this collection by Maggie Holmes, specifically for all for this plane. And I'll show you what else. So this pretzel. So this comes with stickers, pattern, paper, and cardstock. 230 total pieces with gold foiling. Um, so it comes with a 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet. This looks very familiar, very similar to the, um, uh, chipboard, which I want to say, so I put in a scrapbook.com order after I ordered this. Um, I don't need a whole lot of, um, uh, oh, here it is. Did I get the chipboard? I did. I got the chipboard, the thicker alphas, the sticker book that's got the clear stickers in it, and then the 6x12 sticker sheet and the enamel dots as well as the icon ephemera, the stationery, and the tags. I got all the, I got basically the whole collection except for the papers. And then I just picked a couple of the papers that I really liked because I don't need a whole paper pad. Let me answer this text message real quick. Sorry about that. I had to um, answer a text message. Because uh, I'm filming on my phone. 
let me show you. So this is what the chipboard looks like. And this looks like it is the chipboard. Now I got this specifically because I want to um, scrap my trip to Las Vegas because we flew to Las Vegas. We, you, we bought a bus pass to ride the bus the whole time we were there. We, I rode in a taxi for the second time in my life. I love pretzels. Now this swan, I'm pretty sure I'm never going to use that swan. But, I mean, everything else is just my jam. So, I've gone on a whole other tangent. And again, I'm sorry. So, you can just fast forward through this. We also love ice cream. We get ice cream everywhere we go. So, I got the stickers. Uh, that's the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Then, um, uh, it comes with the alphas which look exactly like the thickers which i love and then this is the one of the papers that i'm in love with which made me be like i have to get it because when we were in las vegas we stayed at the paris hotel right next to the link which has their carousel or whatever they call it it's also got the bus on there we stayed across from the bellagio fountains we ate out at um uh, Mon Ami Gabby and out on the patio. So I know that's probably not what this is intended for, but that's what it makes me think of. Then again with the swans. I Is that just a Maggie Holmes? Like, is that her signature animal? I don't understand the swans personally. I, now, don't get me wrong. These are very well done. The gold foil is gorgeous. I just don't understand it. And I don't know how other people use it. So if you have an idea... For how I can use a swan paper in normal people scrapbooking, please let me know. Because I hate to just throw things out. Out. This is like a muted blue with gold star, like hand-drawn stars that are filled in in gold foil. This paper I need 25 million of. It is just cream with gold hearts. Then this cut apart sheet is in here. This kind of uh, minty floral, which I love. Big, traditional, signature Maggie Holmes florals. Lots of icons, which I love. We gambled a lot. We did a lot of walking, packing. I mean, there's money, shoes, journaling, all kinds. This, I love this paper. And I'm hoping that the ephemera packs that I have coming have some of this stuff in it strawberries not sure about that but that would be perfect for spring or summer this is an any everyday paper i love that a map i'm not sure of where oakwan evergreen park that could be anywhere riverside lions lagrange i'll have to look up where that's at oh it says chicago illinois um Blue and purple florals, airplanes, which I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use this as is or if I'm going to cut out those, which I'm not a huge fussy cutter, so I'm probably just going to use it as is. Stripe. And then now the cardstock. So there's a mint, a blue, a light pink, a hunter green, a light blue, a light pink, a navy, a peach. And that's it. And then I also ordered this single paper. I want to say this is the only one that they had at the time that I ordered from Scra um, Joann's. And it's bent up just fine. But this has some tickets, a uh, taxi cab, several tags, um, stamps, all kinds of stuff, which I love. So... Then I also, from Joann's, picked this up. This is another project pad. Until um, Scrappy Nerd UK hauled her stuff, I did not know that Joann's did project pads. The, we don't have a Joann's local to us. We have to drive to another, well, it sounds extra when I say another state. 
but we're right on the border of Arkansas and Louisiana. In fact, half of our city is Arkansas and half is Texas. And so we have to drive to Shreveport to go to a Joann's or to Dallas. Um, and so I ordered this online. I did not know that they had project pads. So I picked this Heidi Swap one up because I really love the colors. I am not always in love with Heidi Swap stuff because it's really kind of mixed media y. And if I'm going to do, if I want mixed media, I want to do it myself, um, which is fine. But this has really beautiful things. So this is the project pad. Um, very generic, everyday. I think I'm going to use this for to scrap some of my own stuff because this is kind of my vibe. And it's got gold foiling. Um, I love this. Bad vibes don't go with my outfit. Love it. Zero regrets. Which that Z kind of looks like an F to me. But that's how I write my Z's in non-cursive. I love the geotags. There's a lot of those in there. And then we go into... Oh, I didn't tell you what this has. This has includes stickers, glitter paper, and cardstock. So... This paper, I also need 70 million of. That's got gold foil rainbows. This gold foiled one would look really nice in a junk journal, which I do. We have a very bright white glitter paper, a very yellow gold glitter paper. Then we go into this yellow diamondy geometric shape that is distressed. This one just got some stamping and distressing paint um, strokes. This one I also need 7 million of. It's one of my favorites. This reminds me of fingerprints. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not. I think it's a map ish. Like a topographical map I think is what it is. But it looks like fingerprints to me. Here's a map of New York. This one makes me think of floor tiles. Like Spanish floor tiles. I don't know why but I love it. I want my bathroom floor to look like that. A uh, yellow and white diagonal that is also distressed. And there goes my dogs. So then we go into the cardstock. We have like an olive, light olive green, a regular olive green, a dark peach, pink, light pink. We've got a bright yellow and a darker yellow, a cream tan, a kind of a cobalt blue, minty green, another gray, gray, and two of those. I don't know if they're supposed to be two. I think I counted and there's one extra, which I'm totally fine with. So this comes with 157 stickers, four specialty papers, eight pattern papers, and 10 card stocks. And then this one comes with 208 stickers, four specialties, 10 pattern, and eight card stocks. So these are the three things I picked up from Joann's and I started with those so that I could finish with the things that I got from Tuesday morning. Um, I'm just going to put this underneath here. So I already talked about those. So I picked this up. This is a yeah. Heidi Swap sticker. This is a Heidi Swap sticker set and it doesn't say what collection it's from. It says 2020. I'm really sorry about the dogs. This says 2019. So they could go together. Either way, when you look at the stickers, they the vibe is the same. Good vibes. Bad vibes don't go with my outfit. I mean, these, they coordinate very well if they're not meant to go together. And I love them. And I love all of the labels. These are the same general colors of the cardstock and so I I felt like when I picked them up I thought they might have gone together even though I was didn't have this with me when I bought it I was like oh that's the same vibe as that Heidi Swap chapters paper I just picked up and so um uh so I was like I have to have that and for $2.99 I mean these are like I think I paid $7 for the ones that I have coming from round trip, which speaking of, they had the uh, cardstock stickers for round trip at Joann's. 
which really boggled my mind because this I thought was a new collection, but I could just be behind. Anyhow, I did pick them up because of why would I not? I, I do feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of the round trip collection. And honestly, Maggie Holmes vibe all kind of goes together, which I can't even find my Maggie Holmes stuff. I have some garden party stuff and I have some heritage. Here's some stickers from heritage. Let's see. Like the colors. Sorry about that. I had to put the dog up. Okay. These are from heritage, I believe. I believe. And the vibe is the same. The colors are the same. So I really feel like all of these papers that I have um, should all go together um, with this collection, even if I don't use all of it for the couple of trips that I want to document. So I picked it up, which means that I have two coming and I'm okay with that. So the last two things I got from Tuesday morning, um, I told you we went to the Grand Canyon in 2018. I might not have told you when, but we went in 2018. This is the collection, the paper that I picked up at St. At St. Michael's. <laughs> That's the hospital in town that I just be, have been at all day. This is the paper I picked up from Michael's to document that Grand Canyon trip. And I took it with me in a, an iris case to document while we were gone. And um, I still have quite a bit of it left because I have not finished documenting. Because I, then I ended up having back surgery in 2018 and... Got a new job in 2019. It's just been crazy. I finally have a dedicated space to craft. And that is why I am trying to get my supplies to where I have plenty. Uh, I mean, honestly, who am I kidding? Scrapbook supplies are pretty. So why would you not buy a boatload of them? Anyway, but I am have plans for all of this stuff and will be getting everything scrapped over the next several months. So hang around if you like travel-y things and December daily and all that. Anyway, let me just show you this um, pattern paper. This is called Let's Get Lost by Recollections. I think it's really cute. It is very reminiscent of the um, like here and now collection in my mind, but I could be crazy, who knows. Um, you know, Recollection puts these out, and um, here now may be way. No, that's not right. Um, they put these paper pads out, and they look very similar. So there's two of each paper. This is one of those fingerprint things again. Pink dots, a cut apart, which I love. It's like tickets or like passes. There's two of those. These little, almost little runs, you have a sweater. Another cut apart with gold, gold, gold foiling. Yeah, see, look, there's no way that this is not meant to be the same vibe. Then there's these arrows, which look just like these arrows. <laughs> I see you, Michaels. Um, this little paper, which I honestly have no idea how I would use, maybe cut it down. I don't know. I don't do 12 by 12. Although I have really been watching a lot of scrappers doing 12 by 12 and it's enticing. So I might have to try some out and y'all can come along with me for that. Um, a world map. These yellow on the cream scallops. I think this is supposed to be like a transit map, but it reminds me of a motherboard of electronics. Uh, an adventure long ledger, adventure log ledger, another paper that reminds me of a floor. Look at that. They're very similar. Two of those keys and key tags, which I love. This dog, I swear. Some numbers. Another mappy type paper. Some airplanes, lots of little words, which I plan to probably cut some of these out and use as embellishments. Blue on blue, some more cut apart, which I mean, 
Hello. Anyway. Stripity. This is almost looks like a cityscape. Another cut apart that is like little in stacks, which I will probably use in that way. And then a brown. So I picked that up because um, I we spent a week on this road trip. And then the last thing I got is this Dear Lizzie accent and phrase stickers that I think match that other set that I got last time, which will be perfect for documenting some summary things. So these are very cute. Again, $2.99. So if you've not been to Tuesday morning lately, because their craft section has been kind of a, you know, a bummer, kind of, then I suggest you go check it out again because they have really started to come back. And I am excited to see what else they have. In fact, I found out my neighbor who lives just a couple doors down and has the cutest little puppy um, and gives our dogs treats, works at Tuesday morning. So, thanks for hanging out with me in the Crafty Nook. I apologize for all my tangents and the dogs barking. Um, I'm going to go pick my kid up because she gets out of school in two minutes now. <laughs> Luckily, I do kind of wait so that the line's not terrible. But thanks for hanging out. Um, I'll see you again next time. Um, I'm going to be finishing up my October Daily soon. And I've got some scrapbook.com stuff with a lot of round trip in it coming. So, I'll see you then. Bye.